Hey YouTube, Doppler Dave here. We're doing an update video. Um, it's about AC. Um, there's been a lot of conversation on the, uh, the threads we've been watching, a lot of comments on the YouTube stuff that we've done. Um, I know I told you guys initially I was going to do a mini split. Yeah, it just took a little time because it was a lot of money, but I, we finally bit the nut. We got the mini split, and we're gonna try to do a couple series of what we're doing, how we're doing it, etc. because AC seems to be a big deal. Um, I'm gonna start off that I am EPA certified. I've done AC for 25 years, so I can tell you exactly what is what. Um, like I said, we're gonna start off showing you what we have to work with. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to show you the outside unit. This is basically your condensing unit. Um, I got it off of eBay. It was $600. It is a Senville unit. It's got, um, it's a heat pump and cool. It basically, uh, I believe power consumption is eight amps. And it also has a one year warranty on parts and a five year warranty on the compressor. But the key is, I got paperwork. You have to be a somebody has to be certified in order to install it to get that five year warranty. If you buy it as a homeowner, you can do this, but in order to get that five year warranty, you actually have to have an EPA license and be certified for air conditioning. Um, so it is a what they call an inverter system. Basically, what it does is ramps up, ramps down. It really, in essence, when it's hot, never shuts off, which is a nice feature because typically when you have a regular AC unit, it gets hot, it gets cold, it's never really comfortable, and you're constantly playing with a the thermostat. Where with this, it maintains the temperature much, much closer than a regular AC system. What we did, because obviously we're gonna install it on the cargo trailer, I ordered the bracket system that they have for, um, not gonna go too in depth in that because it's just a bunch of pieces right now. We'll show you that in a little bit. Um, the inside part, basically, um, try to do this. is this. Um, the lower portion is your mover and it's about 20 inches wide. It weighs about 15 pounds and this is the interior part that is going to give you your cool air. So with this project coming up this weekend, I went to the depot. I bought a whole bunch of different stuff. I got stuff with it. Um, if you do a mini split, Look for a system that comes with the line set. This one came with the line set, which is the copper tubing that goes from the outside to the inside. Some of the sellers, they charge you extra for it, and that would be like another $100. Like I said, this one was 600 bucks. It came with a line set and the interior and the exterior part. Okay, so make sure you watch for that because you need a line set. These units come pre-charged with Freon planning on that. So you should not have to buy any Freon. But the other thing is that it comes with drain line, vibration pads, and all the instructions. It does come with a remote. The remote is what senses everything instead of having a regular thermostat. The remote control is basically your thermostat. So it has to be located somewhere close where it can send a signal from the, the remote control to the interior part, which it's kind of like a remote control for a TV. It's got to have connection. In order to do this, I did go to the depot. Uh, I bought a bunch of different stuff. One of the things I bought was an AC disconnect. It's a 30 amp basic. All it does is you pull it out, it disconnects the power. That would be code for if you install this in your house, this is a good way to go. So if you have to work on it, you pull it out, bam, have a nice day. The other thing we also did was in order to go from the disconnect box to the AC unit, I bought um, basically it's what you call liquid tight. 
which you can run the wires through to go from the disconnect box to the AC unit. Now the one thing that I wasn't very happy about was that I did not get the wiring to go from the inside to the outside. So basically what I bought was I bought 50 feet of uh, 12 gauge wire. I have to make it um, and I bought it just in white. So in order to keep, because you have to run four wires from the condensing unit to the air handler. So I bought the marking tape so you can label each one so you know which one is what. So that will pretty much get you started. Um, it's a 410A system, like I said, it's a heat pump. And we're going to show you the before with the trailer and then tomorrow hopefully we'll have this install and we can show you a little bit more. So next, come with me and we're gonna show you what we're going to do. So the outside part, the, the bracket and everything is going to mount above my license plate because of it being a cargo trailer, it's very low slung. So basically the condensing unit is gonna be up here. If I do catch a dip, it's not gonna drag, etc. And my goal is the line set is going to go in here. Like I said, we're gonna do an update video. This is just kind of a before, so you can see what you start off with. And we're gonna go inside, I'm gonna show you where we're gonna mount the rest of it. So the interior part is going to mount right here. I've kind of got it marked where my overhead bunk is going to flip down so I know exactly where I need to make sure it all ends. But it's gonna mount basically here. The lines are going to unfortunately come down on the inside because th these units are more or less designed for a house. So I am gonna have to make a cover for them. They're gonna come down, go down along the floor and underneath the bed is kind of what the plan is. So that is part one, the before, what we have going on. And once again, God bless. Thank you very much to Nikki, my camera girl today, because Robbie is unfortunately working. Today is Friday before 4th of July. And our goal is tomorrow to actually do the install. So I'm trying to get the before video done so we can focus more tomorrow on the actual doing of it. So anyway, like I said, God bless and we will update again.